Hi everyone, we're Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest 179, question 4, frog position after t second. So we are given undirected tree, so um, and it has n vertices, and then the frog will always start from vertex 1. So we are we know like vertex 1 is the root, and then in the in every second, like uh, the frog can jump um, to its direct um, neighbor of the node but it cannot jump back so it means it cannot like um, jump back and forth but uh, it can only visit one node once but um, here is the node so extra node is when the frog cannot jump to any unvisited vertex uh, it will jump forever on the same vertex so for example um, we are given like three seconds so let's say the frog jump to seven it's one second and seven don't have any more node so it will still keep jumping on the same node in that case so given the relation of the tree by using the edges um, variable which uh, it's a two-dimensional array which each of the index um, represent like the relation like between 1 and 7 1 and 3 3 and 5 and so on so the question here is to return the probability after t second that the frog can end up on the target node so in the first example here um, basically to jump to 2 it need like 0 0.3 3, 3, uh, 1 per 3 of the probability and then next thing is like 1 per 2 of the probability so in total it need like um, 1 per 6 of the probability which is uh, represented in decimal uh, in a double it will be in this value so we are put um, that probability value there are several cases here like for example the time is too short like um, given only one second what is the time what is the probability to visit um, node 4 so it can jump at most like 1 to 2 1 to 3 and 1 to 7 so there is no probability it will reach the 4 in that case the probability will be 0 right and like another case here like um, it have 20 seconds and basically um, yeah it will jump on uh, on the last node it visited if it cannot jump any further so the case here is quite interesting so um, basically at the first we need to build um, the three relation so let's take a look on the code so basically um, I build a list of lists to know um, each node who is its neighbor right and then yeah we just um, add the relation between h0 to 1 and 1 to 0 for the edges and then I create another um, variable for referencing is parents so at initially I put a minus one because um, basically this one I will use it at the end after we find the path from the starting point to the end point and then we do a normal BFS like um, vis using visited and open list visited is just to make sure like when we look through all of the node neighbor we're not going back to the original position we're coming from so that's why um, we have the if it's already visited we continue and notice the problem here is saying it's a tree so means there is only one path possible like to visit from um, one node to another so if it's already visited before it means it's the source of path that we are coming from and then as usual we add it to the open list and then mark it as visited and we uh, we are sure about the parent of current node is uh, that neighbor is uh, ourself like for example one jump to three we reference like parent of three is one and here I have some part of the code like I said h minus one h zero minus one h one minus one target um, decrement so I want to start it with uh, index zero because the question here is starting from index one just to make the code uh, a bit easier to do so after we fish uh, we finish all of our BFS and here is like the maybe we can break if the current is already our position we don't need to navigate any further but even without this code um, this part of the BFS will eventually end so continue to the um, path we're going to generate so we go through the current position equals target so we find all the path to visit from our initial point which is one to the target point in the reverse way so I use a stack 
and then at the end basically I convert it back to the list so here there is three interesting cases that um, need to be handled so first thing is like the path is too far away um, compared to the time we had then that means we need to return uh, zero probability to visit that node because the time is too less but if we can finish it in a very fast time um, means there is another corner case like for example uh, we're going to visit node 3 with the times of 2 um, it's not possible to do so because once it's jumped to 3 uh, the time is 1 but it cannot jump on uh, on the same node when uh, you still have time and you still have path to visit so it will uh, go to 5 means there is zero probability to visit 3 with the time of 2 okay but if it's like um, the time is too much uh, a lot like like let's say 20 seconds to visit 5 then basically it will jump to 3 jump to 5 because 5 don't have any other neighbor it will keep jumping on 5 means um, it will be 1 per 3 to go to the 3 and then 100% it will go to 5 so the chance of going to node 5 with a 20 second is like um, 1 per 3 so yeah that's for the case is too far and the second one I explained just now is like uh, sorry it's the third one I explained just now so the we are we can already visit our node with less than the time then next thing we need to make sure is like um, our target position um, neighbor is only one means it's only the node that we are coming from then if it's more than that like when we have more neighbor than one means after we come to that node we still can visit other node then that means it's not possible for us to stop at that node that's why we return a zero zero and another corner case is like the target is like uh, the target is not one means it's the root itself so if it's the root itself um, we need to make sure it doesn't have any other node so that's why here is larger than zero because it doesn't have source but if it's other than the root then that means it's larger than one means it's have nowhere to come from then in all three cases we return a zero probability and other than that then means our path is valid we just need to calculate um, how much is the probability so to calculate the probability here basically um, we need to find like um, all the node all the node size uh, from that neighbor like um, for example one have three neighbor means we need to divide it by the number of size there okay and the other if it's other than root means um, we need the number of neighbor minus one because that one node is actually the source when it's come from like two have three neighbor right not two have three neighbor but one of its neighbor is actually the original source so it actually only have two neighbor to divide with so that's why um, there is a extra minus one there and we will end up with the probability at the end so yeah uh, that's it for this question thank you for watching see you on the next weekly contest